Welcome. In this video, you'll learn how to make a pull-through swab for a bassoon. You don't want to be stuck using one of these for your instrument because these wool-like swabs shed lint in the instrument. And you can even pull out little, little fuzzy pieces. I don't know if you can see that. And you leave little, little fragments in your, in your bassoon. So you don't want to use that. Instead, we want to create a pull-through swab. I am very grateful to the author Douglas Huff for uh, uh, letting me know about the pull-through swab that he's created, and I've used this for many, many years, and I think you'll find it helpful as well. So the materials you need are a t-shirt, preferably X large, extra large. You will need some pull-through type of uh, twine, and you will also need a couple of fishing weights that we will talk about at the end. We're going to make a pull-through swab right now for the tenor joint. So for the t-shirt, you need to cut off the very end piece of this t-shirt. Do the best I can to do this straight. The nice thing about the t-shirt material is that um, and I see I already made a mess here, but the t-shirt material does not shed in the bassoon. That is really great. It, it sort of coils up in and on itself, and t-shirt being mostly cotton is very absorbent, which is also wonderful. And the additional thing is you can, I'll show you later, you can uh, throw the swab in with the rest of the whites, and clean it up at a later time. So I'm cutting off the bottom layer of the t-shirt and what we're going to do is we are going to cut a loop again here's our t-shirt we're going to cut a loop down here. For the tenor swab the thickness that I recommend is two inches. The article rec recommends something a little bit thicker, but I found that that didn't work well for me. So I'm going to make some marks about two inches out. Um, just in various places on this uh, t-shirt, just to help guide me in my cutting two inches or so, and now I'm going to start the cutting here. If you find that two inches doesn't give you enough uh, drag or pull in a joint, then you can actually try two and a half or three. Okay, now I've done my loop here, and now I need to cut the cord that will pull this through. The article mentions using fishing line. I found that this uh, taut sort of synthetic cord worked even better. You need to cut the length two and a half feet long. That's exactly what we got here. And then you tie off the ends, you make a loop, and bring the end in around and through. Get an end like that. And then the other end you need to tie off, do the same. in and around, and there you go. You've got both ends. One end you need to feed through the weight, the fishing weight, and this is, I believe, one sixteenth size 
in the article they recommend sinkers that are size number seven and for the larger one size number nine and I've just threaded that through and pulled there. The other end is very simple. You just drop the fishing weight through the little loop and there you have your bassoon swab. Now for added protection in case the swab does get stuck in the bassoon you can add the line right here at the end This will dangle in the bassoon at the end as you pull through. And so there's your pull through swap. <laughs> ¶¶